Hey, this is a demo of my new app back backup and sync solution I'm working on. I'm calling it Carbon for now. Um, the name is still up in the air, but uh, that's just an inside joke I have on the app name. Um, so I'm going to start up Carbon on two phones. The one on the left is a Galaxy Nexus. The one on the right is a Nexus 4. Um, and when it starts up, it'll ask you to log in. So let's let's log in on both. I'm going to use the same email on both. Um, and when I log in, that'll connect me to not only my Google Drive, but it'll also connect me to um, other phones that are on the uh, on the same account. So I'm logged in, and right away you can see I can back up apps that are on my phone. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy there. But if you scroll over and go to Restore, you'll see that on both phones I can sync apps from the other phone. It's already detected um, the other phone on the net on um, that is available. Um, these these phones aren't even on the same network. This one is on 3G, that one is just on Wi-Fi. So it's doing this um, with uh, Google Cloud messaging and some other magic. So um, let's uh, let's do a quick test. We're going to restore an app from my Nexus 4 onto my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, I'll go back. I'll click the Nexus 4 here. And notice that it'll uh, pull up a list of apps that are installed on my Nexus 4. This is, an, this is all live data from my Nexus 4. Um, so let's scroll down and grab ROM Manager. You'll see ROM Manager is not installed. So let's restore that. Um, and the restore is done. I'm going to do that again because I forgot to uh, I forgot to uh, approve super user on the on this side over here on the Nexus 4. So I'm actually going to turn the phone off and show how it's completely hands free. Once once you have super user approved, it'll uh, it'll be hands free. So let's restore ROM manager again. This phone will magically turn on, um, and this will start downloading ROM manager and restoring it in a moment. You can see it's still working. It's like 6 megs. And now it's starting the restore on the ne Galaxy Nexus. So that's it. That's AppSync. Um, pretty easy to use. Let's go back and look at some of the other features. So not only can I sync between devices, like uh, like most other app, like the other apps out there, I can also um, make backups directly to, um, you know, your SD card, your Google Drive, or your Dropbox. So let's use a SD card for now. And backup is starting. So the backup is complete. Let's go see if it's on the SD card. And right there. Um, so let's go. Let's take a look at what's on the Google Drive. There is nothing on the Google Drive. So let's fix that. We're going to back up ROM Manager to the Google Drive. Same as before. Instead of choosing the SD card, you just choose a uh, Google Drive, and it'll go there instead. So it's backing up. And the backup is almost finished. And it's done. So let's see if it's on Google Drive. We'll actually check on this other phone. And there it is. You can see it's on the Google Drive. This phone was able to get to it through Google Drive since they're on the same Google Drive account. Um, that's it so far. I'm also working on Dropbox support. Um, I'll also have uh, box.net support in the near future. I want to get both of those done before I do an official release. Once again, this is a uh, rootless um, app data backup and sync solution. Um, the the rootless version is not available yet. It's the version I'm going to release tonight is a root version. The rootless version requires a PC side installation that will um, essentially do some magic to enable your phone to uh, do the app data backup and sync. 
Um, yep, that's it for now. Um, drop, uh, drop a line in the comments or something. Let me know if you find any bugs. Later.